Two days before the shooting in Burholm, three Imhotep Institute Charter High School students were shot at a SEPTA bus stop in Ogons. In that shooting, a 17-year-old was killed. Well, tonight, members of that community came together to try to find solutions to the gun violence in our city. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Carrie Corrado has more from East Germantown. The town hall at Emotep High School was called Peace Not Guns. Just last week, a student was killed at a bus stop in Ogons. Tonight, they remembered him and tried to find solutions to gun violence. We know what's going on, but we all say after the shooting happened, we'd be like, okay, this person died, that person died, now we're on this team. But what about the prevention? It was a packed house inside Emotep Institute Charter High School. The first part of the town hall, city leaders remembered 17 year old Damian Taylor, who police say was killed last week at a SEPTA bus stop. Police say four other people were also shot. Philadelphia City Council President Kenyatta Johnson and Council Member Cindy Bass hosted the event Wednesday night to address the gun violence plaguing the city. We know it was a rough week last week here in the city of Philadelphia. Um, you know, we want to get in front of this before the summer hits. We, we intend. Uh, to work very hard to make sure that there are opportunities for our young people this summer. The city wanted to show the community that there are supports available in the wake of all of this violence. Community members filled the seats, listened, asked questions, and offered their own personal resources and solutions. Anything to help in the fight. You know for a fact if you have a 14 year old child who's out after 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, where's the parents? Let's not blame Sherelle. Let's not blame the police chief. Let's not blame the schools. We got to start looking at ourselves and blaming ourselves. Bass hopes people left the meeting with a sense of hope and a constant fight for change. They want different. They want change. They want better. And that's what this evening did for me. I'm hopeful that people will feel hope. Um, that they'll feel that there is a sense of direction and they feel that, um, you know, the police, all of the partners, everyone who is working together, the schools, the educators, everyone's really working together to try to come up with solutions. Carrie Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.